Hey guys, I'm Dorian Day and welcome to Massive in Depth number 7. Today we're going to be talking about Massive's LFOs. At the top of the LFO display is a menu and option row, just like the one on the envelopes. We have LFO presets, save and delete presets, and then a mono button. This mono button makes all voices share this LFO together instead of each voice having its own version of this LFO, starting at a different phase or point in time. So let's show you how this works. So you can hear that note. Let's add a filter. All right, let's LFO the filter. So if I push one note and then another, they have different LFOs and they're not in sync together in terms of their filtering. So if I click mono, no matter when I click the note, the LFOs are shared and in sync. Next to the mono uh, toggle is the modulation type selector. Uh, we're going to be just working with LFOs for this video. Over here on the right, we have two knobs and two toggle switches. We have the rate knob, which determines the rate of the LFO, and amp, which determines its uh, depth or amplitude at zero, and it doesn't affect the sound at all. Then we have the restart and sync buttons. Restart um, syncs the, os the LFO at the same point uh, every time you trigger it. If you click sync, we have one of the knobs is replaced with two boxes and a new toggle switch. So these boxes determine how quickly the LFO works in um, beats time, whereas this was in milliseconds. So this bottom is your, um, it's like your time signature. It's like how quickly it's gonna be moving. So 32 is fast and one is a quarter note. And then this top number is how many of these you're using. So if I do three, that's three quarter notes. But if I increase the bottom to 16, it's three sixteenth notes. And this is how you make um, the LFOs do times like dotted and um, triplets. All right, next we have the LFO crossfade. This lets you crossfade between the two LFO shapes, the top and bottoms. Um, then right here you see we actually have the shapes. You can click and move them and change their phase but this only matters if the restart button is selected. Otherwise, it just selects a random point anyways. Um, next, we have the shape selector for the top and bottom. You have the four basic wave shapes and then a menu with a bunch of other custom shapes. And then finally, you have the internal um, envelope, which is on each of the LFOs and in the oscillator page. And this allows you to set an envelope on any one of the automatable parameters inside only the LFO. So here, here, and here. And you can't uh, put it anywhere else. So if I try and drag it out, it doesn't work. And you can see that there's attack and delay settings only for the envelope. All right, that's going to complete Massive In-Depth number seven. Thank you for watching.